another T code is uh, ST06. What is ST06, guys? OS level. Operating system Operating performance system analysis. Uh, Operating system told, uh, who, uh, who will give you all these values in ST06? Who, who is giving all these values in ST06? There is one OS background call. program is there. SAP OS call. Yes. If your yeah. SAP OS call is not working, you you won't get this value. All the values will be null. So what are the things you can check in uh, OS zero ST zero six or OS zero six? The operating system resources. What are the operating system resources? CPU, RAM, memory, disk, hard disk utilization, LAN, your network, your file system got full or not? Or file system utilization. Everything you can check from here. See here, first comes to uh, CPU utilization. In CPU utilization, you have having three things. What are the things? System utilization, user utilization, mm -hmm. ideal mm -hmm. utilization. System utilization means being utilized by your SAP and your database. How much they are utilizing this? User utilization means, is, is that right? Use, user utilization means, Am I right? User utilization. Yasmin, you there? Okay, I'll tell you. So ideal means it is not being utilized by anyone. So how if the system performance is 99% is ideal means your performance is good. Right? User utilization means being utilized by uh, SAP and uh, database. System utilization means uh, by operating system. For example, if your operating system is having some third party application, some backup tool is running there and some screen saver is running there and you are running some different different uh, tools on that your operating system, then your system utilization will be more. User utilization means your SAP application and your database both are utilizing more Then it will be user utilization. Ideal means not being utilized by anyone. In number of uh, CPUs means how many number of uh, processes you have. Okay, this is what about your CPU's information and then comes to memory and comes to memory physical memory means your RAM how much RAM you are having almost 11.5 GB RAM I am having for this system and configured swap space so I told you virtual memory you configured some virtual memory of 20 GB right this 20 GB so if the sum of your physical memory and swap uh, virtual memory is less than the required amount of memory to run your operating system SAP and the database it might lead you to serious issues even it will lead you to operating system loss also operating system corruption also so the sum of your physical memory and your virtual memory should be greater than the actual need of your operating system I why I am installing operating system database and application on the same system if this memory is not sufficient for these three applications to run then it will lead to serious problems you have to, that is the reason you should have good physical memory and you should configure at least 20 GB of virtual memory what is virtual memory adding hard disk memory to existing RAM and uh, adding hard disk to the yeah and you have to check the page ins and page outs here swaps and swap outs what is page ins and page outs swap and swaps that is uh, whenever it is trying to get the information from the RAM if it is not getting there then what it will do it will do swap in from hard disk it will read and it will load into RAM that is what called as swap in swap out means from the RAM it is loading into hard disk again so swap ins and swap outs is happening means you don't have sufficient physical memory if you are having sufficient physical memory uh, the swap ins and swap outs will be less if you are having large amount of swap ins and swap outs means you have to fine tune your memory parameters so you can check CPU utilization you can check memory utilization you can check disk utilization disk what about your disk how much a disk it is utilizing see nine uh, what is the first utility percentage it is not utilizing my hard disk means it is not getting any information from the hard disk means where your database repository is saving in your hard database where database software is installed on the hard disk so whatever the Thing I am asking to the system everything I am getting from the RAM if hard disk utilization is zero means it is good or bad 
good good only so everything you are getting from the main memory ram it is not going into hard disk and searching the topics uh, searching the content and it is loading again into the ram it is not doing anything so at least your hard disk utilization should be less than 50 percentage okay so it should not be utilized your hard disk should not be utilized more up to 50 percentage okay but don't go beyond 50, 60 percentage 70 percentage your hard disk utilizing means uh, for 100 times you are giving some queries 60 times it is coming from the hard disk only so you are not getting the information from ram every time you have to go into hard disk and load that object into ram from ram you are getting so your hit ratio your hit ratio of the system is good means your hard disk utilization will be less if the hit ratio of the system will be less means your hard disk utilization will be more this is what you need to check okay how much speed it is transferring okay if you are having hdd so the transfer rate is somewhat less if you are having ssd drives your transfer rate is more and then check lan network connectivity network connectivity also from application level from database level lan uh, here we'll be having one thing called lan check by ping so if you want to check the network connectivity from application from presentation side okay i want to check from presentation side uh, i am giving some 10 pings to my system is it connecting 10 times check how much time it is taking to connect from your presentation so if it is connecting for so long time means the problem from your network connectivity problem see it is pinging to this ip address so is there any data loss no if some uh, network glitch is there network disturbance is there you will be having data loss so i don't have uh, within one millisecond only it is connecting okay fine uh, then check from your application level side is there any problem from your application server connectivity then give one ping or 10 pings i am giving 10 times i am calling that application server for 10 times so if you have any data loss then it will show you then you have to uh, configure your network should have good network bandwidth for that if you are getting some data loss here so no loss uh, now i'll try to connect with the, my database from database side do i have any network connectivity issues so i am calling that for 10 times i'm pinging to the database so everything on same server that is the reason it is showing india host here we install presentation application and database on same host if they are having different different hosts you will get different server name here see no loss so your network you don't have network problem yes and you don't have uh, disk utilization okay no memory problem is there everything is fine you have configured your memory is good okay no page ins and page outs and means your memory is good and file system utilization how much uh, your file system is utilized and how much of free space you are having yes you are having see 79 percentage utilized here 70 percentage only utilized. so uh, if it is reached for 90 percentage then you have to think about uh, extending extending your hard disk capacity these are all the things you can check from your st06 so ST if your sap os call is not running then administer sap os call uh, here we'll get some starting and start see the status of your sap os call it will tell you other if you if it is stopped then you can start from here you can start and stop from here so go to memory so uh, by looking at the first glance uh, don't come to conclusion so uh, it is keep on refresh just two two times keep on refreshing your system then also you are getting the same values means then only you have to consider so first glance it will uh, update for each and every five minutes or see five minutes or one hour one day daily also you can check so if you, if you want to check what are the 40 top 40 cpu processes which are utilizing your memory go to top 40 cpu utilization see if the process name is disp plus work dot exe means being utilized by user so your sap side problem if the top cpu utilization is doing by this process what is this process id by any chance 276 right go to that oh sm50 
276 you will get that process id there 276 he is the culprit so then which user is logged in and which client which program is running from how much time it is running how much memory it is utilizing and what is the status of this work process everything you can check so if it is running some ABAP program by using SM30 T code you can do the ABAP trace for example if you are uh, which process is uh, taking so much CPU utilization for example if your Oracle is taking so much utilization then go to SM04 SM04 T code Hi, to check highest SQL statement expensive SQL statement from there you will get database level so if your utilization is by using displacework.exe SAP logon all these are what SAP related Be, being utilized by system uh, being utilized by user Oracle also being utilized by user only this explorer Windows Explorer uh, this a uh, some other things are there operating system things are there see some host is there some IGS all these are SAP related only these are all only taking you are eating up your CPU utilization right if you are some uh, third party tool is eating up then you have to stop that otherwise your CPU will performance your system performance will be affected some third party backup tool is running then stop that kill that work process and ask them to run on some other time it, if it is not that much important on this host this server is dedicated for SAP and you are running some screen saver why you do you need any screen saver on that and you are running some some third party application any application whatever you need that is running on your system so you can check from here if it is a SAP process then get the process ID go to SM50 from SM50 check what program it is what user is that what program it is being you executing if it is ABAP program go to SM30 and check ABAP trace if it is database process HANA or Oracle or any other database process go to SM04 if it is operating system issue then try to stop that application go to task manager and kill that process there and stop that application for that time this is how you need to check at your top 40 CPU processes so by using SM uh, ST06 you can check CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk utilization, network utilization and your file system utilization. Along with that you can administer your SAP OS call also. Okay. These are all the things you can do by using ST06. ST06.